Hello and welcome back to Maypole Farms. You join me up at the store. We're in our class Torian. Uh, we've come to pick up some fertilizer. Anyone who has uh, followed me for a while probably know that I am not <laughs> not best in a wheel loader and definitely more of a telehandler guy. But we own a wheel loader from the get-go. So that's what we're going to use. Uh, I did look at maybe selling it, um, but it's, it's got a lot of time on it and it's only worth uh, about 60 grand. So I wouldn't be able to buy a telehandler in replacement with that sort of money. Now I need to be careful of traffic coming out of here as I uh, try to get around. Now, I've always struggled with the articulated vehicles, be it a, uh, a loader or a, an articulated tractor, a wiggly bum. So I'm going to be taking this uh, probably quite slow back to the farm. Watch out for the tranny van. Let's see if we can get across here before the next car comes. Tell you what, that weren't too bad. Nicely done. We're not home yet though. <laughs> we're not home yet. Makes me sweat all this concentrating and we're only just starting. So we've got that tight, tight, tight corner. Now this caught me out when we were just coming back with the cedar so I have to be careful. I think this um, shed on our right is empty at the minute. This can be the fertiliser shed for now. I'm not going to completely uh, detach any of that. I'm just going to lower it down though. Probably should have done it a little bit gentler than that. Let's jump out. So today we have a lot, and I mean a lot of fertilising to do. But we need to fertilise all of our meadows. They all need something on. Um, obviously we've not got no animals yet. But we want to make sure we've got a good stock of hay, grass, silage to sell. Because at the minute um, cows don't take silage. I haven't done any dairy in FS22, but I've noticed on the feed that it doesn't show um, silage, but it does do TMR. So I am assuming, as one does, that TMR is still the same sort of mix of um, two hay, a straw and a silage. So we will make silage because we do want TMR. We don't want to have to keep buying TMR. So we're going to take our Massey out today, which is leave around this side. Nope. Need to learn the farm, don't I? Yeah, Massey, Massey. <laughs> I found it. It was over by the other cow barn. So we're going to use the Massey to do the fertilising. So we shall jump in. Start her up. Now we have on here, I'm pretty sure in front there's a bale spike here. Yeah. So we'll move that, we'll just turn around and just take that off. We'll see if we can't grab that weight as well at the same time. So we're going to want that. We do have another weight somewhere else. I think it's over by the sheep barn. So detach the spike. Detach the forks. Okay, so now we need to go and find our sprayer. Now when I looked at it last time, it did look like it had a little something in it. So uh, we might be lucky. 
have a first re have our first fill, as it were, for free. That's down here on our right. Now I'm really enjoying this uh, this type toy 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 map. Now I think actually we probably could roll. We, we've brought the fertilizer. We'll do the fertilizer. We'll see what Roland does another time. Obviously, Roland's free fertilizer, and it's just driving over it. Now, let's go and work around. Honestly, I've, I've got the map up, but I'm still not 100% certain on where we're going. still completely foreign. It's our new home and it's completely foreign to me. So our field 68 that we planted last time out. Um, obviously we don't need to uh, fertilise that yet. We didn't plant it. We uh, dug it up. But the grass isn't fully grown. So we should still be able to fertilise it at least. Have a little look at this. So let's give it a crack. See how she goes. She's got a nice wide uh, angle on her. But that doesn't look like us fertilising. Let's turn that off and just check. Maybe that is fully grown. I don't think it is. Oh, it is. It's ready at harvest. We're ready to mow. Well, in that case, our plans today have changed already. We might start doing a little mowing. Or we might see if we roll that Will it reset the growth state and give us a fertilisation? Might just test that first. Because we're not in desperate need for the grass or the hay. I mean, silage would be nice because we can sell it. Let's try and get this back in there. Nicely to the back. Now this little massy probably isn't big enough really pull the roller but we'll give it a try just to test the waters a bit around the long way I'm not going to be able to pull that as tight as that this yard it really makes you work to get where you want to get to I love it absolutely brilliant so we'll go back to that same um, field, meadow. Just jump in here while we go into the trees. So if I unfold it, I think I've got enough room here. Excuse me. As always, have uh, <laughs> perfectly normal voice and throat all day. 
try to do this and suddenly uh, your voice goes so we lower it I don't know if this needs to be turned on or not like I said I've not used it no it looks like it just rolls marvellous well, does it do anything to the grass oh it does it is that taking that right down if I jump out, I mean, if it's completely taking it down. I was giving it a 40% yield boost and 37% fertilization. Okay, I'm happy with that. So, for our. Uh, I think 66 and. Uh, 67 we'll go out and uh, we'll roll these meadows finished rolling field 66 and uh, I swear these fields are so deceptive I said this on the map tour but they look like they're there's a lot of small fields but they're not small everything takes a little bit longer than you think it's going to so it's now half past five I think we probably started around about half one two o'clock I said half past five it's half past four so it's about two hours in game. That's, uh, that's, that's quite a while. I was expecting this, you know, 40 minutes in game. I know we're not going super quick, seven miles an hour. I think that is the limit of the uh, the roller. I think the Massey could go quicker. But we'll uh, we'll have enough daylight to. Uh, to get over and roll field um, 67 as well. You always get that little triangle when it's, uh, or I do anyway, when it's uh, an unusual shaped field. So we'll uh, pick the roller up, fold it up, let you guys have a little look at my workmanship, get rid of that. So yeah, that's the, the first field rolled, got a little tough to grass over there but that'll be fine. I'll just put my little map up again although it's just the next field Let's see if we can get that out again Is anyone out? there we are It's a cool roller. 
I said this is the first time I've done any sort of rolling with this type of equipment equipment a Christmas sort your teeth out mate um, yeah, we've used that little front roller but that just gives us a seed but it doesn't do the actual rolling of the of the crop or the soil so this is a uh, this is a new thing for me anyway and this is you know what it's quite surprising that it I, that I don't get more things done. I, I play on both PC and on console, but I seem to have mirror and saves, so they uh, seem to be doing the same thing. <laughs> trying not to, uh, I was trying not to spoil it and, and rush through things for myself, because there has been sort of quite a limited amount of content up until now. Now things are really starting to flow through. We're getting plenty of mods daily, and I'm, I say. Obviously, with this map, I'm exploring third-party um, uh, websites for mods as well, and I'm finding a little bit more choice. Hence why we're here, and that's also uh, got me thinking about how we're going to go forward um, with the series, uh, as well as with uh, Ubela Rom. And I'm thinking, starting next week. We might go three days a week with Maple Farm and twice a week with Ube. Uh, maybe because <laughs> this map I feel is a little bit, <laughs> I'll say a little, it's, be, it's a lot more interesting. I think it's going to be a lot more fun, there's going to be a lot more to do on it. We've got more land, we've got more, more stuff going for us. It's just nicer. Um, I'm, I'm still going to keep going with Ube. I said from the start, no matter what, when new maps come in, we're going to keep going with Ube at least until we're paid off the 200 grand debt. I would like to do a lot more on the map. So, uh, yeah, we're going to keep it going, but I might switch over because this week we'll have the two episodes. This will be the second episode of Maple. And then going into next week, we'll go three, three Maple Farms and two for Ube Laron. Hopefully you guys are alright with that. Yeah, if you're not, drop down in the comments. Um, I've got a lot going on on the channel at the minute, so uh, I've, I've managed to keep myself super busy with lots of different things. Um, by the time these come out, uh, I think most of what I'm working on will uh, will be coming out. There's some more stuff that's set for a little bit further down the line, but that shouldn't affect the schedule at all. Yeah, quite like rolling. It's a nice chilled job, isn't it? Now, uh, in 19 we used the rollers, um, but they just just literally did do the fertilizer state. They didn't, um, not that I recall anyway, didn't tear your grass right back down to the uh, first growing stage. Like I say, we've got no mad rush for the grass, so I'd rather have a better yield on the meadows than... Um, Maybe having a couple of rough cuts. Uh, I do also have the mod active that allows me to cut the grass at any time. I think without it, you can only cut it when it is fully grown and ready to harvest, as it were. Whereas now we can cut it at any growth stage. So if we did suddenly need a little bit more grass or a little bit more hay and we were short and the grass wasn't fully grown, we can do a, do a mid cut. Which, if I recall, was something you could always do on 19. But apparently, uh, isn't a doable thing on 22. Again, not really done any mowing, so I wouldn't know. But I saw the mod and I thought, you know what, that's going to come in handy. But I'm going to crack on with the rest of this meadow. Because there's probably a little bit more we'd like to get in today if we can get some daylight.
our last roll of uh, Field 67, and we might have to have a tidy up one on on the way back. Next up, I want to see if we can actually get a sprayed fertilized state on here as well, so then we don't have to worry about the grass anymore. We'll have to keep an eye on to see if weeds come through, that may be a thing. In which case we'll uh, have to try and invest in a weeder. I say certain things we've got to keep an eye on, we're going to be coming across, or I'm going to be coming across some new stuff for me now doing this. So, which is why I'd like to do it a little bit more often than the other. We're already ahead. Yeah, let's bring that up. Fold it up. Lovely job. Let's go get it put away and switch over for the sprayer. So let's go see if we can spray directly after rolling. Uh, sometimes I'm really pleased that I don't have a camera because <laughs> I am ducking and moving my head. Yeah, it's brilliant. <laughs> Means the immersion is good. Right. Let's just stick that on. Get the back. That's not giving us an extra state, is it? I think we'd have to wait for another growth, possibly. Let's have a little look. Oh, I love it. You can see the uh, the physical fertilizer then sort of bouncing off. So no, we've just got the one one fertilized state on each, which is absolutely fine. That's not a problem. I was expecting as much. It'd be too easy if not. But when we get our first uh, little growth of grass on there, we'll remember to come over and uh, flick a bit of fur. We've got enough. Just find and uh, we'll park this back up. Stick it next to the uh, John Deere. Be alright like that for now. Right, lovely job. Now, all we have left then. Are our animal pen meadows if we go any other side. So we've got our interest in this. I mean, they're a good size. But I think I'm going to cut all three of them. I probably won't worry about um, 84. But we can cut uh, 85, 86, and then. Um, whatever number the other one is, let's bring up the map, it's a bit bigger. 90. I'll cut them, I'll ted them, and uh, we'll get some hay ready with them ones. And then, depending on how the day rolls over, I'm not sure if tomorrow will be the second day of August, or if tomorrow will be the first day of September. If it's the first day of September, we'll get our... Uh, barley or, or wheat we'll get that in the ground and then we'll do some mowing if it's not and it's still August we'll just do some mowing and then see what else is about on the map but that is going to be it for today's episode guys hopefully you've enjoyed it if you have give it a big fat thumbs up down below if you're new to the channel hit the subscribe button turn your bell notification on find out when new videos are going live comments and feedback down there let me know what you think about a little mix up to the schedule 
with this going three days a week and Ube Long going twice. Hopefully I'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.